In today's video, we're taking it back to the first ever Yu-Gi-Oh set, Legend of Blue Eyes. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and in today's video we have 16 Legend of Blue Eyes reprint packs. We have not opened these in quite a while. I always love opening these Legend of Blue Eyes reprint packs because they're a lot cheaper than like, of course, Unlimited or even first edition Legend of Blue Eyes, even though they're much, much newer. I wanna shout out Derek H for selling me these. He sold me these at a good price so that we could make a video and he was pretty excited about it. I'm pretty excited about it because I always love opening these up. And these are the 2017 print. So if you don't know, Legend of Blue Eyes has many, many different prints. It originally came out in 2002 the first edition print they even made a 2002 unlimited print and then many prints after that but these reprint packs started in 2010 out of the legendary collection binder edition then they made the game board edition in 2013 and 2017 so these packs have been around for uh, not as long but they're still actually kind of old like five years old at this point and uh, they've been in walmarts and stuff like that targets as well since then so that's our little history uh the giveaway for this video is every card we pull in this video i will be giving away a blue eyes if we pull it dark magician red eyes any of this stuff you guys can win it so just make sure to like the video be subscribed turn on notifications let me know what you want to see from these packs because you could potentially win them. and also before we get into it i want to mention that at 150,000 subscribers we are opening every single first edition pack ever made and that includes unlimited as well it's just like we did at 10,000 subscribers except there's a whole two years worth of new packs and hopefully we're not going to stop recording in the middle of the video so make sure to subscribe to that guys let's go we have legend of blue eyes and also to remind you guys don't fall for those giveaway scams in the comments just a quick reminder about that i'm gonna try and mention that every single video if i can okay so we have 16 packs today you guys can win all of it i believe this is the pack trick all right we want to get something amazing blue eyes would be insane you guys can win it we've got the r mail we've got the power of kaishin the one-eyed shield dragoon the king fog electro whip frenzy panda okay Pot of Greed, okay, that's a sick rare, but in these reprint packs, you don't only just get a rare and or a foil, you can get both. So you're gonna get a rare and then maybe a foil after this, could be a common, let's see. Hinotama Soul, so we didn't get a foil that time, but we did start off with a Pot of Greed, which allows you to draw a certain amount of cards. I can't remember, what is it, three cards? I don't know, something like that. Not a bad start, Pot of Greed is pretty decent. It is not a foil though, so let's keep going. Let's see if we can pull something epic our second reprint pack let's see what we can get we have the beaver warrior all right silver fang very nice sogan all right steel ogre grotto number one very nice the mizurizame will it be a yame let's see mizurizame yeah no root water i think yame and mizurizame coming in order is a original print thing uh root water we've got the umi next should be the rare okay a hane hane or hane hane whichever you prefer and our first foil celtic guardian and yes this will be in the giveaway every single card guys including the foils celtic guardian a classic dark magician card or not dark magician yugi card that's what i'm trying to say they're kind of similar because yugi's dark magician in that episode when you know when he turns into the mini dark you know what i'm talking about so uh celtic guardian that's pretty sick third pack one two three four it's been a while since we've opened these so i'm pretty excited about this especially like in a large quantity like this not quite a booster box about two-thirds of a booster box legendary sword let's see how many foils we can get out of here in warrior number one the remove trap fury sea king the Yurabe forest i always like the forest especially on the original i think the green looks even better on the original still looks pretty cool in here the m warrior number two all right numero dos goblin secret remedy gets you those 600 life points very useful and here we go a mammoth graveyard so yeah there was no foil so we just got a regular old common all right mammoth graveyard just get the living arrow card and you can destroy the blue eyes ultimate well not destroy but decay the blue eyes ultimate dragon let's go one two three four we will be opening a first edition pack of this in the every pack opening which is going to be insane i cannot wait for that hopefully we'll pull the blue eyes because i still have never pulled it i pulled every single other one exodia dark magician red eyes all the big stuff never pulled blue eyes but the angel uh the succubus at least in first edition we pulled an unlimited uh, the Karama, very nice. Oh, well, we pulled Portuguese first edition as well. Okay, let me let me clarify. English first edition, there we go. Mystical Moon, very nice. The Petite Dragon. Not Petite Moth, Petite Dragon. Silver Bone Arrow. The Terra, the Terrible. All right. Dragonus, the Wicked Knight. And here we go for the foil. What will it be? 
Okay, it's not a foil. Tyone, all right, Tyone. Then there's Tyone number two later on. Right now we got Tyone number one. We're looking for Tyone number two. He's even cooler. Legend of Blue Eyes, White Dragon. All right, let's keep it up. Two, three, four. Let's pull something epic, guys. Let's get another foil. Right now we've gotten a uh, Celtic Guardian. I just spit on my microphone. We got the Beaver Warrior, the Silver Fong, the Sugan. Steel Ogre Grotto, number one. Where's number two? We got the 13th Grave, another epic one. Mr. Zame, Yame. Where's the Yame? No, it's root water here, okay? In the reprints, it's, it's just the root water. Grave Digger Ghoul. And will it be a foil? Anumi! All right, another non foil. I mean, it's only like five packs, so we're doing okay. One for five is not that bad. All right, one for five, not the best, but you usually go about one for four when you open a booster box, so we're doing fine right now. We're not too bad. Let's see if we can pull something here and change our luck back. Let's see if we can get a foil. The Dragon Treasure. Kumu Toko, the Beaver Warrior, yeah, love to see that guy, the Silver Fang, Yamayugi, Hitatsumi Giant, one of the first monsters summoned, maybe the first monster summoned, well, first monster summoned in the Yugi Kaiba Duel, not ever, Laser Cannon Armor, because technically they did in like the school room or whatever, um, the Turtle Tiger, very nice, the Dark Fire Dragon, actually worth a couple of bucks, because like weird goat stuff, <laughs> all right, and... Drooling Lazard. Oh, no, not the Drooling Lazard. Oh, man. Okay, one for six. This is not looking good. We got to get you guys an Ultra Rare at least. I mean, all the Ultras are pretty epic, so let's see if we can get one. Hopefully not just a piece of Exodia. You know, I mean, those are cool, but we'd rather have, like, the head of Exodia or one of the other main monsters or Monster Reborn would be cool. Tripwire Beast. Okay, we got the basic insect, the Weevil Underwood card. All right, pretty epic. The Furious Sea King. <laughs> petite Angel. There's a lot of petite cards in the first couple sets of Yu-Gi-Oh, if you haven't noticed. The Hino Tomasol, the Umi, a Mammoth Graveyard, the Living Arrow card, another Dark Fire Dragon, pretty good, and a Mystical Elf. So it's not an Ultra, another super rare Mystical Elf. So these are pretty iconic Yugi cards. So I mean, that's not too bad, but you know, they're probably not the ones you're looking for. All right, we're not even halfway through. This after this will be halfway through. So we're doing okay. We're two for seven right now. That's not that bad. Let's go three for eight. That would be pretty good. Two, three, four. Can we pull something big for you guys? We have Dark World Thorns. Ray and Tepatura. That's the name in uh, Portuguese, I think. Yame. Mizurizame. Yame. We got the witty. I realized in the comments, some people, when I say Mizurizame, Yame, they don't realize I'm talking about this card because, like, the way they spelled it, I could tell. Uh, witty Phantom. The Drooling Lazard. So there you go. If you were confused, I just clarified it, hopefully. Hino Thomas Soul. The Ume. And the Final Flame. All right. 600 damage here. A little bit better than Sparks. And. The Mammoth Graveyard. All right, we're back with the Mammoth. Okay, so two for eight. We are exactly on pace for foils. Okay, ninth pack. The Enchanting Mermaid. The Dissolve Rocky. We've got these sparks. Ooh, 200 damage right to the face. This is a must-have in any meta deck in the current meta. You want to play this card. Really good. Flame Manipulator. So if you got him in the flames, oh my goodness, can you imagine the devastation? It would be insane. The Larvas. The Petite Pequeno Dragon, I should say. Skull Servant, our first pull of this guy. He's pretty much a classic. The Reaper of the Cards. I had some people tell me on Instagram when I was selling one of these uh, PSA 10, they had never seen this card before. So here you go. Here's the card you had never seen. Reaper of the Cards out of LOB. They had apparently never seen it. So I guess they haven't seen the anime either because it's also in there. But maybe, Or maybe they just didn't realize it was in the set. All right, here we go. Two Mouth Dark Ruler. There it is. The Twin-Headed Fire Dragon. No, the... Not twin, the two mount, the twin headed thunder dragon, twin headed thunder dragon. Yeah, comes out in the next set. So they just remade that guy and made him a foil. I don't really know why they did that. Changes colors. It's kind of weird. One, two, three, four. Can we pull something great? We have. But wait, 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph. So go down below and click that subscribe button. Fiend reflection number two. The Violet Crystal. All right. Is that really violet? It's kind of pink, honestly. I mean, some of it's violet, some's pink. Kind of weird. Sandstone. All right. Appears from underground and attacks with long, snake-like tentacles. Kind of weird. Like, why does a sandstone have tentacles? I don't know. I don't understand that. Nimi Ruko. Ni Num. I can never say this right. Nemoriko. We got to get this right. Nemoriko. Is that right? Let me know in the chat or the comments. I guess we're not live right now. Also suck in the thumb there. Interesting. We got the Pequeno Dragon. Skull Servant. The Twin-Headed Thunder Dragon Jr. The Goblin Secret Remedy. Okay, can we get another foil here? Let's go. Drooling Lazard again. Come on, man. We don't want you. We don't want the Drooling Lazard. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean to speak for you. I know some of you guys probably want the Drooling Lazard. Okay, I'm just kidding. I know you guys really like the Drooling Lazard. Let's go. Give us an ultra rare. We will take one. Ray and Temperatura. 
the Yame Mazurazame with the Witty Phantom. Wasteland. Dark King of the Abyss. Have we seen this guy yet? I don't think so. It's said that this King of the Netherworld once had the power to rule over the dark. He once did. Now apparently he doesn't. He's just kind of chilling. I don't know what's going on. We got the Beast Fangs. All right. Spike Cedra. It's not spiked. It's Spike Cedra. Why did I always think that was spiked? Also, we got a pot of greed. That's pretty sick. Okay, what's the final card going to be? The Trial of Nightmare. All right, it's not the Trial of Hell because, you know, Trial of Hell, they quit printing that in like 2002, 2003, something like that. These were printed in 2017, as we talked about earlier. So obviously this, you know, it's the new version of the Trial of Nightmare. All right, five packs to go. We have two foils, so it's not looking too great. Can we get an ultra rare? Let's go. We've got the R Mail, the Dark Gray, Power of Kaishin, the One-Eyed Shield Dragoon, Follow Wind, Hitatsumi Giant, Laser Cannon Armor. Aqua Madur. All right, will this be a foil? We are two for 11 right now. Can we go three for 12? That would be on average. Let's go. Oh, man eater bug, another super rare. So we are super in it out right now. We are exactly on pace though at one for four. Three supers. Now we just need one ultra to top this off. Man eater bug, mystical elf, Celtic guardian. Oh my goodness, not bad at all, but we just need one of these four to be an ultra or a secret and we're happy. Then we're looking good. Come on, let's go. We have the Beaver Warrior, Silver Fang, Sogan, Steel Ogre Grotto, number one, Ume, very nice, the Mammoth Graveyard, Monster Egg. The Grave Digger Ghoul, and will it be another foil? Will it be an ultra? The Tyhone. All right, it's really making us wait till the end here, guys. Please bless us with an epic pack. Legend of Blue Eyes, White Dragon. By the way, if you guys have these reprint packs, even if they're not Legend of Blue Eyes, uh, hit me up and I'm interested in them for sure. So if you've been holding on to them for a while, I'll be interested. Let's keep going. We have the Legendary Sword in Warrior Number One, the Remove Trap, Dissolve Rock. Yurabe, all right, Missouri Zabe, Yurabe, no, <laughs> Forest, okay. M Warrior Numero Dos, Numero Dos, I should say. The Arm Ninja, all right, and the final card here is the left leg of the Forbidden One. We finally got an Ultra. Okay, it wasn't the one we were looking for specifically, but it's an Ultra. We can't complain. It's a piece of Exodia. Left leg is actually pretty hard to get first dead PSA 10, so. I mean, it's unlimited, so it has nothing to do with it, but it's still cool. <laughs> it's still nice to get. We will take that. So an ultra rare, three super rares. I guess now we just ask for a secret or another ultra. So, I mean, just any foil, I guess, at this point, because the, the average is there. We're getting some decent pulls. Let's see what we can do, because these reprint uh, ratios can be crazy sometimes, because they're just individual packs. They're not out of boxes. Uh, uh, Nemurico, Numerico, Nemurico. We got the Tripwire Beast. The Basic Insect, very nice. The Vile Germs. Larvas. Machine Conversion Factory, the Monster Egg, Stop Defense, Stop Defense. All right, that might have been a little loud. And here we go. The Lesser Dragon. It's not the Blue Eyes. It's a Lesser Dragon. Final pack, guys. 16th pack. Pretty decent pull so far. I would say we've done okay. We have not done insane, but we also haven't done bad. I mean, four foils is pretty good out of 15 packs so far. Let's see if we can make it five. Isn't that's pretty amazing? And you guys can win all these. Don't forget, we got the Sparks. Ooh. Epic meta deck inclusion. It must be. It's a must have in every deck. Uh, flame manipulator. Got to you know manipulate those flames. We got the dark world thorns. Ray and Timbatura. Skull red bird. Have we seen him yet? Doesn't feel like it. The man eater. I don't think we've seen the man eater either. We've seen man eater bug, but no man eater. So you think that the bug would eat this? Is it the is the bug eating the man eater or is it eating the man? That's a good question. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Let's keep going. Fire Yaru. All right. What's up next? Giant Soldier of Stone. Good to see that one. That's a classic. And will we end with a foil? A Frenzied Panda. So we're going to go exactly on ratio with four foils. That's not really bad at all. So we can't complain. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content, especially that 150K special. Shout out to TCG Trusted Cards, Tone Fo Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Squirtle, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Dizzy, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Echo, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, John Nolan, Anunta Tai Show, Thomas McLean, Seth Fisher, and Tone Z. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.